Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we're checking out a game that I've actually checked out from Distribute Bracket Bracket. It's called Chambara. It's a multiplayer-only game, so this isn't going to show that much of game footage. This is more just looking at the stylistic design, a little bit of the tutorial, and just kind of checking out visually what this is and tell you guys that you need to play it. I've played a few rounds uh, local co-op with my nephew and this is a really fun game. But not just is it just a fun game, it's just something that looks... Oh, it, it, it just has an aesthetic that just makes me go like, yes, yes, this is actually looks fun, plays fun, and just, um, I, it, it's highly entertaining. Check it out. Basic controls for the game are left stick and right stick, move and look. It's a first person combat shooter game, stealth em up. I think that's the best way to describe it. You're playing as a pair of ninja chickens or ninja birds, ninja ravens, doves, whichever side you choose to be, in a two color world where one side will disappear inside the background of one and the other will disappear in the background of the other. It's, it's, it's such a simple kind of ninja mechanic with just the fact that they've just used birds for the interior of it. The um, basic combat strikes you have are either a charge up single shot shuriken, which you then have to pick up after you've used it, or a charging dash strike, which um, drains your stamina, mattering whether or not how far you dash forward or how much of a quick strike that you have. Every enemy or the enemies that you're going to be playing against, the, the two out of four players that could possibly be in playing this, will be taken down in a single strike. It's it, it's very Bushido-esque. The, it's the first person who hits, and that's the way you work. You also have the ability to close your eyes, which can be used to make yourself completely invisible to your opponent in different areas. Um, essentially, as long as you can't see, you can't be seen, I think is the way to describe it. But as you can see now, whenever you're taking down these scarecrows, the colors, the ones that are within their own grounds are hard to spot. The ones that are not are easier to spot. It's just, it, that's, uh, whenever you attack, even in your own colored area, your weapon will change color, which will start to distinctly remove you from the background that you're standing against. It's, it's so simple. It's so simple, but it works so well. It's, I, I can't describe it any other way other than being a really quick, fast, intuitive, arena based strike em up I suppose is the way to describe it right let's see so whenever you complete a level you actually get this kind of turn around laps you around the level showing every path that you've taken which is really useful whenever you see four players and it just going scrambling around like mad reminds me a lot of Super Meat Boy in the way it just tracks your path in for the entire search around the level until you get to the tail end and then just finally stop it's just, I, I like this game I, I, it makes me smile just to look at it it makes me smile to play it. I couldn't recommend it anymore. So guys, this has actually been a really, really quick, short little preview site of Chambara. The game looks fantastic. It's really quick and fun to play. I'd recommend, if you can, getting a couple of friends together and maybe chipping in to buy one copy between you because it is local co-op and you can really enjoy it more with a group of friends. It, well, what I mean, group of friends, like you can't play it solo. There is no solo story. But um, a couple of quid, a night in, playing this, you'll have a great time. It's a great drinking game as well, if you actually want to play trade-off for um, every time you die, somebody passes on the controller, or every time you die you have to take a drink, because it's like five versus five health lives. If you have four people sitting around a table, this can be a really destructive <laughs> bit of fun. I, I'm not recommending you drink yourself until you're poisoned, but I'm just saying, it's actually, like this, this is something for drunk grumps. If they ever do that for like some Paddy's Day again, although admittedly it doesn't, unless you actually did all the levels in green and black or green and white, that way you'd actually have almost a thematic reason to be doing it for some Paddy's Day. But yeah, I, I like this game. I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I think there's a lot more depth to be had in it, but as a fun multiplayer game in the same vein as Sports Friends, something that you only dig out when you have a few people around, I can really get behind this. The, um, I can't, there's so little to show that you'll know by instinct whenever you look at this that if you and your friends will enjoy this. 
So if you enjoy first-person shooters with a little bit of a, a different graphical style, if you're a fan of, uh, not No More Heroes, Mad World on the Nintendo Wii for its stylistic look, you might enjoy this. If you enjoy one-hit Bushido Killers, you'll also enjoy it. So yeah, guys, I can't think of anything else to say except have fun, and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Remember, there's a like button right there, there's a dislike button right next to it, and I hope you have a wee comment, a thought, or what you think of Chanbara, the chicken killer. <laughs> I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.